Young Rexton 2.2D Ultimate 2017 Review. The fourth generation Sang Young Rexton brings added sophistication to the interior and infotainment, but does this new SUV do enough to close the gap to its rivals? What is it? This is Sang Young S flagship model, renewed for its fourth generation, offering an up-to-date suite of infotainment and electronic features and a surprisingly well-furnished interior. But many core Rexton features remain. It retains body-on-frame construction and comes with a part-time four-wheel drive system that includes low range for ambitious off-roading. In the UK, the Rexton B sold with Sang Yong S updated 179 bhp 2.2 litre four-cylinder diesel engine with either a six-speed manual or Mercedes-Benz sourced seven-speed automatic gearbox. Sang Yong considers the Rexton's key rivals to be the Hyundai Santa Fe and the Kia Sorento, both of which it is priced to undercut. The firm is also aiming the new Rexton at buyers of used, 3-4 year old Land Rover Discoveries, with the Rexton's 5 year unlimited mileage warranty a further draw. A major feature of the Rexton S redesign is a substantial upping of the quantity of high strength steel used in its body, up to 81.7% from the previous car's 16.1%. Kia reckon the body shell is stiffer than that of both the Audi Q7 and a Range Rover Sport, and that S without the addition of a stout chassis that includes extensive reinforcements within its box sections. So, the Rexton should be very robust. Inevitably it's also quite heavy, weighing in at 2,095 kg in its lightest form. As a consequence, the manual S combined 36.2 miles per gallon and 204 grams slash km do not compare well with the equivalent Santa Fe S 46.3 miles per gallon and 161 grams slash km nor the Sorento S 49.6 miles per gallon and 149 grams slash km. Both domestic rivals outperform the Rex, too. However, Sang Yong reckons the Rex Ness combination of 3.5-ton towing capacity and off-road capability will appeal to a particular slice of buyers. There are three trim levels. Entry level X costs from £27,500 and provides an 8.0-in infotainment screen, manual air conditioning, front and rear parking sensors, automatic lights and wipers, forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, high beam assist and traffic sign recognition. Midrange ELX adds to this two extra seats, 18 in alloys, tri-zone air conditioning, Nappa leather, power heated seats, a heated steering wheel, a smart key and extra airbags. The range topping ultimate version tested here adds the automatic gearbox, 20 in alloys, HID headlights, surround view monitoring, a powered tailgate, heated and ventilated front seats and, most strikingly, quilted Napa leather upholstery that helps lift this Sang Yong to previously unimaginable heights of comfort. What's it like? If your first Rexn experience is in this ultimate model, you can't fail to be impressed by the caliber of the interior, which is at its sumptuous best when upholstered in ivory or brown leather, some of it quilted. The comfortable seats, the diamond-stitched slice of leather upholstering the lower reaches of the dashboard, the generous 10.2-in infotainment screen and the sophisticated instruments convey an aura of unexpected luxury, heightened by materials of decent quality. You sit high up high enough that the running boards are genuinely useful with plenty of space. That applies in the rear, too, although those in the third row of seats will feel confined. The diesel engine isn't t quiet enough for its diet to be undetectable, but it's unobtrusive at idle and only sounds taxed towards the upper end of its rev range, a zone rarely reached when the 7-speed automatic is doing the shifting. This gearbox shifts between ratios slickly enough, but it only has two modes, the misleadingly labeled default sport mode and a winter shift regime. This engine and the Rex Nest 2.1-ton heft produce performance that's far from electric. It's not slow, but the ease and relative quiet of cruising is more impressive than the acceleration. 
The zest shortfall is confirmed by an 11.0 seconds 0 to 62 miles per hour time and 115 miles per hour top speed. If the 7-seat Altima official combined fuel consumption of 34.0 miles per gallon isn't enough to get you backing off the throttle, another incentive to do so is the car's ride, which is frequently disturbed if the road is anything less than slate smooth. Yes, the Rexton has coil-sprung double wishbone front suspension and a multi-link setup at the rear, but it also has a stout, separate chassis. It's old-fashioned providing a reminder of what 4x4s used to be like before they had Waitrose car park pretensions. You re quite often jostled, and any urge to tackle tight bends at speed is soon suppressed by the feeling that the car would rather not pursue such antics. The Rexton will get around a bend just fine unless you go mad, the task eased by steering that s much less slack than you'd experience in old school body on frame off-roaders. Still, alacritous it isn't. On the other hand, the Rexton is likely to prove decently effective in mud, with impressive ground clearance and approach and departure angles along with selectable four-wheel drive and low ratio. Our scope for testing its robust metal was limited to some bumpy track adventuring, but the Rexton certainly feels tough, with not a squeak or rattle coming from its structure or furnishings. furnishings.